Hi, I'm Ross looking at the Diamond Tactical Discrete Carry Bags. This is the TAC B. And we did the video on the TAC 1. All the details of the features are in that video, but we'll go a brief overview on this one. Still got all the Molly webbing on the front so you can attach your accessory pouches. Got your spot for the name tape or weapon system ID tape. Nice thick bag, a little bit longer than the TAC 1 so you can fit longer weapon systems in there if you're going with big bolt action rifles anything like that you've got good thick padding on the side again reinforced so it's not going to reveal the profile of the weapon you've got the reinforced carry handle heavy duty zippers on the back you've still got the laptop pouch or if you want to shove in there pistol any auxiliary equipment that you want to be able to have rapid access to on the outside of the bag just by reaching back your upgraded uh, backpack straps, they're contoured, so they're gonna distribute the weight evenly, especially on some of these heavier weapon systems. The chest strap and reinforced drag strap. So again, this is the TAC B, a little bit longer system like we talked about, wider, a little bit more interior room, so you can attach auxiliary equipment in there. So now we're gonna take a look at the inside of the bag. Note again, same features as the TAC-1, just in a larger configuration. So your bag will still open up all the way. You've got the reinforced padding on the bottom, which is removable if your weapon system's a little bit longer. You've got the TLS strap here for locking down the back end of the weapon, which of course, just like the TAC-1, move it to any spot you want, just for however your weapon system's configured. You've got the neck support here, some extra padding, get you a little bit of elevation on there. So you can strap the muzzle end or barrel end of the gun into that cradle right there. Reinforced material on the top and also around the padding up top. So if you've got a large muzzle brake or something that's got some teeth on it, you're not gonna tear it up. And then again, the same reinforced padding on the side, just like the TAC-1 bag has. All right, just to show you guys, we've got the bag opened up. You got full 51 inches of clearance inside this bag from top to bottom. We've got strapped in here Savage and 338 Lapua with this big old 5 to 25 uh, power scope on it. Still got room to strap in the spotting scope and we've got room enough in there to strap in the tripod for the spotting scope. So if you got full sniper and observer kit built into the bag, not to mention attaching some pouches to the outside for any other auxiliary equipment that you might need. So this is just to kind of give you an idea of how much space this bag has in it. 51 inches, that's a lot of clearance for a bag. You're hard pressed to find bags that big out there. So again, this is the TAC B bag. So if you've got a long weapon system, this is ideal for it. Again, I'm Ross and this is the TAC B bag.